Welcome to Grip Muscle Spotlight number four. What is this? This is a beer bottle opener and I'm gonna need this later in the video so stay tuned. Thanks for stepping by and watching this and this week's episode is about brachioradialis. Have fun! Before we start to find the brachioradialis I want to rule out a common misconception. As you can see there's a small muscle here that has a testicle looking shape or a small lump and a lot of people uh, mistake this muscle for the brachioradialis. It is not the brachioradialis, it is the extensor carpi radialis longus that I've actually talked about in my last video. So you can click here to see the video from last time and learn something about it. The brachioradialis is this muscle up here. Okay, and here's the line. Now let me get a view from above to show you how to find it. Make a fist and have your forearm in a neutral position and flex a little bit in your elbow. Extend your thumb like this and then just flex your muscles. And do you see this small hill up here? That's the brachioradialis. Starts above the elbow, goes all the way down here to your thumb. Now let's talk about the function. Your brachioradialis has three functions and the most important one is the synergy it does in the flexion of the elbow together with your biceps and your brachialis muscle. Now if you have your elbow completely straight, the first part of an elbow flexion is done by your biceps and your brachialis and the last part of the elbow flexion is done by the brachioradialis. Once again, if you have a straight arm, most power comes from biceps and brachialis up to here and the last part of the power comes mostly from your brachioradialis muscle. Now what about the second and the third function of the brachioradialis? It's actually pretty easy to remember. The brachioradialis tries to maintain your elbow and your forearms and your hand in a neutral position. Now if you do a pronation like this, which means your hand is facing down, it tries to pull up here and it has a little twist in it to where it goes and if it now contracts it tries to move your hand back into neutral position. So once again if you pronate it, it tries to move your hand back into neutral position. The same applies for the other way around for supination like this which is the third function and it tries to go back into neutral position. So as you can see in the side view, the brachioradialis is uh, not very good visibly, so let's take a look from above. As usual, I have colored the brachioradialis and its outlines, and as you can see, it starts on the upper arm, and it actually starts on the humerus bone, which is the bone of your upper arm, and as you can see, this is my biceps, and it goes along the biceps, and then we have this big muscle here on your forearm and it inserts into the stiloid process of your radius bone. So the radius bone is on the side of your thumb, like here, and you can actually feel this with your other fingers. There's this small thump, like uh, the small dent going out of your radius bone. You can feel it with your finger. And into this dent, which is the stiloid process, the brachioradialis inserts. So again, it comes from the side of your upper arm and then it goes all the way down here into the stiloid process. Now this also makes sense why it does uh, pronation and supination because as you can see, if I pronate my arm, there's this twist that I said earlier. And now if you have a contraction here, it pulls it back into the neutral grip. And other way around, there's also a small twist up here and when it pulls here, it goes back into the neutral position. So that's the magic of the brachioradialis. I want to take a brief second to talk to you about different grips for pull-ups. And as you can see, if I twist my arm and my hand, the brachioradialis twists with it. So if we take the chin-up grip first, you can see that the brachioradialis is on the side of my arm. Now, it would normally do this motion, but the arm is fixed in the chin-up grip. So if I pull up, the most force I do comes from the biceps and not from the brachioradialis. Now if I turn around into a pull-up grip, 
you can see that the biceps is in a disadvantaged position because it goes down here. But now my brachioradialis is twisted here and can exert maximum force when flexing. You can even see my muscles work when I simulate the pull-up. So what does this mean? It means when you are doing pull-ups, your biceps is not doing as much force as your brachioradialis and the motion. And if you do chin-ups, your biceps is mostly doing the work and your brachioradialis is not doing as much. This also means if you want to train the brachioradialis with pull-ups, you have to do it in a pull-up grip or in a neutral grip, which also flexes the brachioradialis in the last portion of the pull. Whenever you do rapid movements of the forearm, like in hammering or gardening work, etc., you are using your brachioradialis to stabilize the elbow. And of course, it's also used when lifting things up, like my backpack here. And as I said earlier in the video, I need to open a beer can. Cheers. <laughs> this is actually without alcohol to not kill my gains. Stay away from the alcohol, guys and girls. Bad for you. Now, if you've watched the anatomy part, you've seen that the brachioradialis basically does every movement where you flex your arm to the last bit. So this also means it's trained by every movement where you do this, okay? And in bodyweight fitness, it's basically everything you do, pull-ups, dips, lap apart, uh, on the parallels when you do handstand push-ups, everything where you do this movement it is trained. But I'll show you these movements just for your enjoyment. So, here we go. So here's the best stretch to stretch the brachioradialis if you've worked really hard. You extend your arm like this, have your palm facing down and then you flex your wrist like this and then you turn and rotate it outwards like this. And this will give you a really good stretch in the brachioradialis up here. So once again, hands down, flex in the wrist. Rotate outwards and hold. Really, really good stretch for your brachioradialis. It was Grip Muscle Spotlight number four. I hope you learned something. Now, please do me a favor and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so I can make new content for you. And have a great day. See you next time. Goodbye.